The Arab winter is a term for the resurgence of authoritarianism and Islamic extremism evolving in the aftermath of the Arab Spring protests in Arab countries. The term, Arab winter, refers to the events across Arab League countries in the Mideast and North Africa, including the Syrian civil war, the Iraqi insurgency and the following civil war, the Egyptian crisis, the Libyan crisis and the crisis in Yemen. Events referred to as the Arab Winter include those in Egypt that led to the removal of Mohamed Morsi and the seizure of power by General Abdel Fattah el Sisi in an anti Muslim Brotherhood campaign. According to scholars of the University of Warsaw, the Arab Spring fully devolved into the Arab Winter four years after its onset. The Arab Winter is characterized by the emergence of multiple regional civil wars, mounting regional instability, economic and demographic decline of Arab countries, and ethno religious sectarian strife. According to a study by the American University of Beirut, as of the summer of 2014 the Arab winter had resulted in nearly a quarter of a million deaths and millions of refugees. Perhaps the most significant event in the Arab winter was the rise of the extreme ISIL group, which controlled large swathes of land from 2014 to 2017. Definition Topic. Geography The term, Arab Winter, refers to the events across Arab League countries in the Mideast and North Africa, including the Syrian Civil War, the Iraqi Insurgency and the following Civil War, the Egyptian Crisis, the Libyan Crisis and the Crisis in Yemen. Events referred to as the Arab Winter include those in Egypt that led to the removal of Mohamed Morsi and the seizure of power by General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in an anti-Muslim Brotherhood military coup. Political developments, particularly the restoration of authoritarianism and suppression of civil liberties in Egypt since July 3, 2013, have been described as constituting a military winter that functioned in opposition to the goals of the Arab Spring. Various militias and tribes have started fighting in Libya after a breakdown in negotiations. The arenas of Lebanon and Bahrain were also identified as areas of the Arab winter. Libya was named as a scene of the Arab winter, together with Syria, by Professor Sean Yam. The Northern Mali conflict was often described as part of the Islamist winter. Political changes which occurred in Tunisia, involving a change in government, as well as an ISIL insurgency, were also indicated by some as a possible heading towards Arab winter. Chinese professor Zhang Weiwei first predicted Arab winter in his June 2011 debate with Francis Fukuyama, who believed the movement might be spread to China. My understanding of the Middle East leads me to conclude that the West should not be too happy. It will bring enormous problems to American interest. It is called Arab Spring for now, and I guess it will soon turn to be the winter for the Middle East. Topic: <laughs> Chronology. According to scholars of the University of Warsaw, the Arab Spring fully devolved into the Arab Winter four years after its onset. This view was also supported by Professor. James Y. Sims Jr. in his 2017 opinion article for the Richmond Times. In early 2016, The Economist marked the situation across Arab world countries as worse than ever, marking it as the ongoing Arab winter. Impact Economic impact According to the Moshe Dayan Center for Middle Eastern and African Studies, as of January 2014, the cost of Arab winter upheaval across the Arab world was some US$800 billion. Some 16 million people in Syria, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, and Lebanon were expected to require humanitarian assistance in 2014. According to The Economist, Malta has benefited from the Arab winter, as tourists who might otherwise be in Egypt or Tunisia opt for a safer alternative. Casualties 
According to a study by the American University of Beirut, as of the summer of 2014 the Arab winter had resulted in nearly a quarter of a million deaths and millions of refugees. Political columnist and commentator George Will reported that as of early 2017, over 30,000 lives had been lost in Libya, 220,000 to 320,000 had been killed in Syria and 4 million refugees had been produced by the Syrian civil war alone. Migrant crisis The political turmoil and violence in the Middle East and North Africa resulted in massive population displacement in the region. As a result, boat people, which was once commonly referred to Vietnamese boat people, became frequently used, including internally displaced persons and asylum seekers and refugees who had previously been residing in Libya, have headed towards the European Union. The attempts by some Libyans and Tunisians to seek safety from the violence by crossing the Mediterranean Sea have triggered fears among European politicians and populations of arrivals that might flood their shores. This has spurred a flurry of legislative activity and patrolling of the waters to manage arrivals. See also Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant International military intervention against ISIL List of modern conflicts in North Africa Spillover of the Syrian Civil War Iran–Saudi Arabia proxy conflict